if you consider that there is uh, a court process in place and that perhaps may have uh, to take its natural course. I want you yeah. to pay attention um, to Solu. Thank you very much, Chair. Thank English. you for having me. And thank you to the listeners. Um, yes, uh, first point to make, uh, Shen, is that that letter was actually written uh, late April. Uh, if you see the stamp of the acknowledgement on that letter, it was received in the office of the Chief of uh, Staff on the uh, 26th of last month. And um, yes, on the 26th of April. And uh, the letter was actually dated 20th of April. And uh, so that is uh, for a fact. So it wasn't written yesterday. It's about a month, exactly a month today, that that letter was delivered to the office of the Chief of Staff. And what is the message? The message, first of all, is to thank the president and the federal government uh, for the way that they have handled the insurgents, the Boko Haram issue in the Northeast, and also granting amnesty and the rehabilitation program for people involved in the Boko Haram insurgency and so on. Now come to the Southeast. Um, where Southeast faces some systemic, what I describe as systemic insecurity, and we have this agitation snowballing into uh, today, all manner of criminal gangs everywhere in the southeast Simon uh, profess to be light. agitators, uh, as it were. And we kind of think, I mean, since I came in as governor, we have faced these criminals head on in various dimensions. IPOB has consistently denied that it's part of the uh, systemic insecurity. Um, some but others we are, are not involved. To those are we going to claim deny. it? The answer but is we no. think it is time the now, minimum. even though we've made substantial progress in terms of addressing, uh, you know, dealing with the criminals, because we have zero tolerance for criminality. Uh, but there the is a bigger like. part of the reconstruction, reconciliation process. What the security people and rehabilitation. Don't forget that one. Which requires getting all the stakeholders of the table, around the table to discuss the way forward and the future of security, peace, and development in the Southeast. And I'm convinced that in in America, you know, hate or love him, or agree with him, disagree with him, um, has become an important uh, stakeholder in that conversation giving as well what his own people are doing or not doing. And, um, and, and we need to have him around the table for that conversation. So we made that point about security, long-term security, uh, sustainable security in the South is to have all critical stakeholders. The issue of the rule of law is also another basis for our appeal. That there are, at least there, is, there are several court judgments demanding for his release and uh, unconditional release. And at least one of those court judgments has not been challenged up until this moment. Then there is the issue of his health. Uh, we read everything, all manner of things, and the new media about his state of health and need for urgent uh, attention. And like I said, also then for, com I mean, compassion. Um, yes, it's in the courts. But it's been on now for God knows how long uh, this matter has been in the courts. It's almost two years, getting to two years now. And that is a saying that the justice denied, uh, delayed is justice denied. Uh, if you want to have this, let's expedite this whole process and conclude it. I, I couldn't believe that this whole process would have lasted more than a year, for example. You're not getting two years and they still stuck at this lower base and then the courts it's more than two years, so Ludo, correction, more than two years. Okay. The, the second two bit is, out. if, because of the ongoing court processes, you can't release him unconditionally as ordered by the courts, because you have appealed one of the judgments. And I'm saying, for some other compassionate, for us to achieve the other objectives, hand him over to me. <laughs> we will keep him. When you need him, we'll release him, we'll bring him to you. I will be the shorty. I'm prepared to do that. No, so, so don't, we can you don't get that start one. I will correct you. The process of the healing and the systematic solution of the long-term security and development challenges 
in the so, southeast. So uh, that's what this letter is about. Yeah. So um, if uh, the president Buhari does have a few days left uh, on his on his belt to, uh, to. All right, wonderful people. All right, wonderful people. As we just finish uh, listening to the, this conversation one on one with uh, Governor Soludo in Channel Television. You see, uh, there is something I want to say here. Soludo is the governor of Anambra State. I am from Anambra State. Uh, you know, we don't believe in political correctness. We don't believe in political correctness. Uh, Soludo said a lot of things here. And uh, there is something that I also want to correct Soludo. Of course, he's a governor, but... Uh, uh, he don't know it all. Uh, there is a statement that Soludo made here. He said, because of the court process, uh, and the Mazen Namdekanu is a state holder, you know, on this. I mean, the, I mean, the, I mean, he want to talk about the security in Anambra State, and uh, I keep on saying this that Mazen Namdekanu is the mouthpiece of Biafran people. Mazen Namdekanu is a public figure. Mazen Namdekanu is the man that the world are looking up to. Mazen Namdekanu is the, is, is the last miracle that I believe that is going to happen to Biafran people. Because after Mazen Namdekanu, when we restore Biafran, things will be going according to the way things are supposed to be. And humanity will take its place in Biafran land. Um, but there's something I want to tell Soludo. There's something that Soludo said here that I am not, I'm not going to agree with him. I'm not going to agree with him because we are here to agree at the same time to disagree. He said that uh, because of uh, ongoing court, that they should release Mazen Namdekan for him. Uh, that whenever he, they need Mazen Namdekan, he's going to release him. Is Soludo telling us that they, are, they should give him Mazen Namdekan that is going to... You know, sometimes when I'm saying this, some people will say, does he mean that I don't understand what, I, what he's saying? That is why we're here to correct them. Whenever they say something that is not... In the, I mean, something that is not right, we're going to tell them so that they will know. Mazen Namdekan have been free. They have discharged him. And the so-called competent court appeal have discharged Mazen Namdekan. And Soludo also mentioned a very, very, very important issue about the Boko Haram. But let me introduce myself. Let me double into that issue because it's very, very important. We understand what is playing. All right, wonderful people, freedom fighters, lovers of freedom, great people all over the world. You are welcome once again on IPOB Rapture Media under the leadership of Mazin Namdio Kuchukan. Here, I always set the record straight. My name is Mazo Kinna Okechuku. Known as the Bia franchise watching again. And the general. Soludo, the governor of Anambra State. I want you to know this. Those that are killing our people in Biafra land. I've been saying this every time, non-stopping. Simon Ibirima in Finland is the one that the zoo called Nigeria have contracted to keep on causing you know mayhem in our land simon Eberima in finland is the one that they have already given the script to begin to play it using our own people set them up he will gather them he will set them up they will kill our people they are using simon Eberima. And I keep on saying this, if you want proof, there is a lot of proof that Simon Eba is the one involved. We are not going to claim things that we are not doing. That is we, IPOB. Whatever we did, we are going to claim it. The criminality in Biafra land, the IPOB under the leadership of Mazen Nam, the Okuchukano slash DOS, we are not involved in the criminality that is happening in Biafra land. That is why I, you know, I don't hide my own. I don't hide my own. I say things the way it is and I'm always ready to down the consequences. That is why I'm telling Suludo, the governor of Anambra State, 
the one that is causing problem in our land today in Biafra land in Anambra in every part of Biafra land is Simon Ebirima living in Finland they are doing all their best to keep Mazen Namdekano there. That is the reason why they are killing, maiming, destruction of souls and properties of our people every single day, tagging it on IPOP. And some people are thinking that we are going to come here and begin to accept things that we are not involved. That is why I want you people to understand. Now, let me go into the issue of Boko Haram. Soludo said things that, you know, he, he, he spoke like a man. They have been given those Boko Haram, those that they have killed. Some of them, I have come across an interview where they are asking one idiot called a Fulani. They, you know, they, they caught him and they are now taking him to rehabilitation camp, you know, to give him a new, you know, you know how they do things. After six months, they will free you and also integrate you back again to the system. I mean, they will give you another orientation, how you will carry on the, you know, the mission that you have already come to do. Now you understand. They are, you know, they, I heard that interview, you see a man that can even tell you how many people he have passed. The guy is telling you it's uncountable. But did you know that after six months, they gave this guy army uniform, they gave him back again, he's gone, and go back and start doing what he know how to do best. Now they are giving amnesty to all these Boko Haram, doing everything for them, you know, but when you are talking about our own, nobody wants to listen to us. That is why I keep on saying that Nigeria is not for you. All this thing that these people now want to there is nothing you can do about it. You are not part of Nigeria. Nigeria have already, you know, sidelined you people. And it's the high time that we begin to understand the mess that we are into. Mazen Namdekano is the mouthpiece of Biafran people. Mazen Namdekano is the ultimate. Mazen Namdekano is the Messiah. There is no two ways about it. You know. Uh, and we are praying that Mazen Namdekano is going to be free. And uh, about Mazen Namdekano's health condition, we have said it and with that number. Nothing should happen to Mazen Namdekano. I know some of you will say that we are just blabbing. But it's okay. Some of them that are telling you they are into armed struggle. A very in Finland that is telling you that you into armed struggle. Uh, they are now still <laughs> saying they are waiting for the court to, I mean, court hearing. Uh, you should release Mazen Namdekano. You should do this. So now, but they are, they are no more in armed struggle. They have left. They have left. They are now in government in the uh, desert. You see, I want Soludo to understand all this thing that is playing. Whenever you come to do your, I mean, you speak, don't be calling only IPOB. Call those people to autopilot. Don't be afraid of them. You call, you mention their name. You see the way I'm telling you their name. Simon Eba is the, is the chief autopilot. Simon Eba is the one that they are using. He is a double agent. He be in Finland. He is the one that are causing mayhem, destruction of souls and properties of our people. In Biafra land today, as I'm speaking to you, they are not fighting the enemy, but they are killing their own people. Those people, they are, they are telling you they are going to restore Biafra. For, I am saying my own, and there's nothing anyone can do about it. And Nigerian government is behind him. They are behind him. That is why he's doing all this thing and nothing has happened. I want you to tell Sulu, though, that this one that he said is good. But I want him to understand that nobody should hand him over to Mazen Namdekanu and he's not doing anything to, you know, I want you people to understand that. A good day. A welcome.